DJI have had return to home technology in their drones for quite a while now over the last few years. It's been a great technology, but they've taken it a step further here with the Air 3S and have upgraded this to what they are now calling smart return to home. So what would normally happen is that once your drone has engaged return to home, it will go to the predetermined height that you have set for the feature. For example, 40 meters, it will fly in a straight line at that predetermined altitude and then land now, if it tries to do that today, it's going to be landing in the trees above me. So hopefully DJI's new smart home technology is really going to come into its own. Let's get the Air 3S into the air and test it out. OK, so I'm going to start by taking the drone away from our location. We'll fly it out about 300 metres or so. There it goes. So I'm pretty much just flying out in a straight line and the drone is, as I say, going to be doing a careful set of mapping in the background so that when we now engage return to home, it should be able to do so without actually hitting any obstacles. And I just want to show you in the settings very quickly here. Under safety, you can see advanced return to home. I have it set to optimal, so that's the setting you want, but you can also choose preset and that will do the traditional return to home functionality where it will fly to the predetermined height but let's go ahead and select optimal and we'll see how this works so let's go ahead and engage return to home here to home. and I'm going to be keeping a very close eye on this seeing as how this is my very first time using this feature and as I say with all these trees around me I don't really want the drone trying to land on top of those now the drone hasn't followed the exact route that I took when I flew out but that's not the idea it's not going to like backtrack the exact flight path that you undertook Instead, it is going to go ahead and use an intelligent mapping system in order to find that optimal route. And yes, the drone has come down here. OK, it's not flown above the home point in order to land directly over the top of it. Well, what do you know? That is fantastic. Look how close that is to the original takeoff position. It's maybe a foot or so out, maybe half a foot, even that. That was brilliant. So yes, it detected the trees. It, it adjusted its altitude before it reached them so that it didn't have any accidents. It didn't mess about. It came in at a nifty speed as well. I'm thinking, is this really going to be able to account for all of these obstacles? But it did, not even a hint that it was gonna have any kind of crash or accident. Okay, so I'm going to do the same thing again. This time I'm going to film the drone on its return so that you can see how it actually interacts with the surroundings here. Take off. Long point up there. And away we go. One thing I love about the Air 3S is just how darn fast it is. 60 miles an hour top speed. Okay, that's in sports mode and I'm currently in normal mode. But even in normal mode, it is so quick. OK, there's no messing about with this drone whatsoever. It's incredible. Enable return to home. Return to home. OK, and I'm going to get my phone out ready to record. I'll keep the controller in one hand, though. OK, if you can't see it yet, you will be able to soon. It is now slowing down in the sky, trying to get its position. And yep. It's detected the trees, so it is now lowering auto, uh, automatically. Again, I'm not pushing anything on the controller here. Let me stand back a bit so that the obstacle avoidance doesn't get interrupted against my body. So just to show you the trees above where standard return to home would bring the drone in for a landing on top of those. Landing. How wonderful is this? This is magnificent. Oh, and something I forgot to tell you guys, which is kind of important. This feature also works at night time. And look how close that is to the original takeoff position within half a foot again. Really, really awesome. Yeah, this is definitely one of my favorite features, I think. Um, one of my favorite new features, I should say, of the Air 3S that it's brought to the table. And it's going to come in super helpful, especially, I suppose, if uh, you do have a lot of obstacles around you and you are worried if you lose complete connection that the standard return to home is going to cause you grief, maybe an accident or something. With this advanced return to home, that's just not going to happen. So advanced return to home, what do you guys think of it? Or optimal return to home, smart return to home? It's got different names that it goes by, but I think it's a great bit of tech that is going to serve DJI 3 AS owners very, very well. 
Folks, thank you so much for stopping by and checking out this video. I'm going to be bringing more updates about the Air 3S going forward, so make sure you stick around for those, and I'll catch you next time.